and uh, he was there when St. Stephen's Church uh, was, was facing a desolation of, of houses being pulled down but you still, you still had the low, low Elswick post office open on Scottsford Road. So Jimmy was there to take all these various changes. And there's the church again uh, with the, uh, the old terraced houses behind it. And uh, th there's the first flats, foundations of the first flats being built. Of course, you still had you still had the, some of the old shops on Scottsford Road while the flats were being built. Those flats have now been modernised, and of course, uh, Jimmy liked this photograph down Clara Street, taken across Scottsford Road and the river to the power station as well. Uh, this particular area was used in a very well-known film. You know what it's called? <laughs> You'll find that uh, the request was made not to pull this, the houses down on this street so they could get a still shot of Mike McCain to advertise the film. Get Carter, very good. Now, Jimmy, of course, was dead keen on getting it had been a, his ambition to get to the top of St. Stephen's Church because it's a church that he was very much associated with uh, and uh, he, he was until his later days and uh, there was a bit of a list on the spire and it had some scaffolding so somehow or other Jimmy in his 70s managed to climb them up and uh, if, you, if you look very closely they've got a rope round his middle in case he fell off. Later, later on uh, they pulled down the church but the spire was left and uh, a, a newer church was built just below it. So Jimmy borrowed a camera that's Credit Park School in the background. That's the sort of, sh that's the well-known shot of Jimmy uh, that was taken to represent his later days when he'd go into town and uh, show people the photographs he'd taken. Now, this, is a, this gives you an idea of uh, uh, where the, the public first saw these uh, photographs of Jimmy's. And then in the 1970s, uh, I was able to borrow, uh, have the use of his negatives and I printed them and put them on display in, in five or six of the West Newcastle libraries. And this is where, uh, this is where they were seen by Derek Smith of the Side Gallery, who was... Uh, who they decided uh, that they'd put an exhibition on in 1981. And uh, so these are the various exhibitions. So there's Jimmy in 1981 when, uh, a, when they'd done, done the first exhibition. 1981 and that's the book that was published in uh, 1986 uh, I might I, I might say that I have published a book called Old Scottswood Road uh, and it was published about uh, 10 years ago and I've been told that they were going to reprint it. <laughs> I'm very pleased about that. Anyway, let's let's talk about Jimmy Scottswood Road. And there, there's the occasion 
when Jimmy was asked to go down to the photographer's gallery in London uh, to uh, receive the Salida Award. And the first thing that the side gallery ladies did was to take him out and get him a new suit. So there he is with his new suit, poising at the side gallery, because they were going to take him down. And there he is at the side photographer's gallery in London with his award. So there you have the what, what the Minister for Arts on the left and on the right uh, uh, one of the lecturers in photography and there's Jimmy typically reacting enjoying himself so much with all this attention all, all, he's, all he's wanted is attention rather than anything making any money, they get money out of his uh, photographs and that's the, these are the sort of shots people take when they see him roaming around the Newcastle uh, oh this just gives you an example of the sort of thing that J happened to Jimmy when he became well known uh, he he he, uh, he was asked uh, to, to, to take part in a film called Stum Stormy Monday some, some of which was photographed down near the Keys side and they told him you don't need the uh, you don't need to change your costume, you're a newspaper seller and you've got to go and see Sean Bean. So uh, he, he, he was in with the arty cloud now. And, but he, he was always looking for new shots and then he found that the Western Bypass was going to be built. So he decided he'd better get his uh, red helmet on to make himself a little more official because he often get thrown off the site he wasn't supposed to be there with his camera but there he is in, in the western bypass and uh, this this actually is, is one of Jimmy's birthdays because when he had a birthday he used to come to the a Bedwell Library, where we met on the Monday morning. Uh, there, I'm giving him a present there. If I go back to the previous one, uh, that that's the cake that was made uh, with the Kodak on it. That's his cake. <laughs> now this particular shot is taken in the General Hospital. Uh, he was out. Jimmy was outside of the Central Station one day and he was going across the road what he what he hadn't noticed was that the lights had changed and he was knocked over by a bus broke his arm and he was lying on the ground outside the central station and uh, he uh, the cr crowd came round him and he said to one one of the fellows Will you put your hand inside my coat? There's a camera there. Well, I'd like you to take a shot. And he, Jimmy says, take it across to the shop, across the road, you know, get, a, uh, uh, get, get it developed. So when I visited him in the general hospital, Jimmy says, what happened to that photograph that was taken of me when I broke my arm? <laughs> now, the next thing that happened was that I had the negatives uh, and Jimmy decided that uh, he, he, Jimmy was now taking his photographs into the, into the uh, museum, in the archives. So the request was made for me to transfer uh, the, the, the negatives to them and they also asked for a copy of, that I had uh, of the contact prints. So there's a television program made, and this photograph was taken 
from the television program uh, of the new setup at Benwell. So the next thing that happened to Jimmy was that they decided to give an honorary degree. Uh, that, that was the occasion uh, when he got his honorary degree. Uh, I was there sitting in the front row. I wouldn't say that's necessarily a photograph of, of that occasion, but that's how it looked. And Jimmy was sitting on the stage. Uh, Jimmy went to the front of the stage, whipped out his camera and took a photograph of the audience. And then of course, uh, the very interesting book Out of One Eye was published when they got a lot of did a lot of researching. So I was involved in the researching. This is my uh, main room with some of my books in the background. So these are the photo photographs that this this lady. Uh, is now t photographed when she's been rehoused outside an area of, New of West Newcastle and she still is keeping a photograph that Jimmy took of her and that particular photograph uh, is the man who was still living down near Cambridge Street in Scottswood Road who used to look like that on the right when he was a lad. And when he was asked what he was doing outside of that shop, he said, oh, we're just watching the town go past. There he is now. And there's a, a, another fo of the photographs. And this particular uh, fellow, he moved down to Watford. So Derek Smith had to I go visit him in Watford and uh, he, uh, I met him at the launch of one of Jimmy's books. Focus at night, yeah. Uh, so that was the time that we met in the, uh, met in the library at Crudders Park to have his 90th. So when I had my 90th, we booked Fenham Library. So we each had a 90th birthday party in Fenham Library. In the library. Trudders Park Library, that's right. 15th of August. So you can see that he was... It would have been on, on the 15th of August when he had his 96th, but he didn't live that long. These are the sort of photographs taken by somebody who, took, who, look, who looked after him, who was a photographer. He used to take him out and do these sort of cards and that sort of thing. Steve Daggett used to work, play with Lindisfarne. And he was there at Jimmy's 90th birthday because I suggested he would, uh, we could invite him along to uh, sing this, the ballad of Jimmy Forsyth. I mean, you, you, I've got the words somewhere, in it, but uh, oh yes, this particular photograph. Jimmy would be facing the care home where he died there. And in the background is a building which used to be a maternity home called the Gables, which was later a Salvation Army maternity home. And it happens to be the place where I was born 9th of March, 1920. And 